We're getting our first look at the man behind a deadly workplace shooting near Katy, and we're learning more about his history. Marion Guy Williams, a disgruntled former employee with Night Transportation. We know he was fired two weeks ago, and that he was angry that he was no longer receiving paychecks. He was armed with a pistol and a shotgun when he walked into the company today. He hunted down and killed a supervisor and wounded two others before turning the gun on himself. That supervisor, Michael Dawood, we have since learned, is a father, his daughter just two years old. Investigator Robert Arnold now live with the latest developments tonight. Robert. Detectives say some of Marion Guy Williams' last words were, you all ruined my life. And while Williams did have a criminal past no one expected, he was capable of this type of rage. It's always scary in today's society. The community surrounding night transportation is still grappling with the images of officers in tactical gear surrounding a bullet marked business. Larry Drummer's son was a student in one of the four nearby schools put into lockdown because of the shooting. Anything happening that close to the schools is, is always concerning. Sheriff's detectives say 65 year old Marion Guy Williams fired several shotgun blasts inside the business. Detectives believe Williams' termination from the company two weeks earlier. Was the motivation. One of the employees stated that he said, Y'all ruined my life. The last public sign of Williams' propensity for violence came 20 years ago when he pleaded no contest to a misdemeanor assault charge. His anger on Wednesday, though, claimed the life of a father and husband. Michael Dawood was a supervisor for the company. Detectives say Williams bypassed other employees and appeared to seek out Dawood. A pastor who spoke with his co workers say he was heard trying to get Williams to stop his rampage. And the person who was shot. Uh, was doing most of the talking and encouraging the shooter to leave the premise. Williams' gunfire also injured other employees, some hit by flying glass and bullet fragments. As deputies converged on the business, Williams killed himself. That's the scary part, is uh, the ones you least expected or could be the ones that, 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 that kind of go off the, the deep end like that. Officials with night transportation have brought in counselors for employees and they have suspended operations at this facility until the investigation is complete. Reporting live from the Katy area, Robert Arnold, KBRC, Channel 2 News.